Unit 1 Review, Directions for 21 and 22, decide if the following represent functions or not, and explain why or why not to receive full credit. Okay, so on 21, I'm going to be looking at the inputs and the outputs, and I notice that if I have 5, 0, and 5, 2, the input of 5 has two outputs, and that is not allowed. So I'm going to put no, 5 has two outputs and every input is only allowed to have one output. If you again get stuck on this, I would strongly suggest graphing it. <coughs> um, I'd have 0, 5, and then I have 5, 0, and then I have 2, 5, and then I have 5, 2. So you notice if I did the vertical line test, this does not pass the vertical line test because this vertical line passes through twice and it's only allowed to pass through once. <coughs> okay, 22, is it a function or not? <coughs> Excuse me. There are two ways. First of all, if I looked at the posters on the wall, I'd notice that this picture is a member of the linear family, so I could say yes. Um, member of the linear family. Or, if I did the vertical line test, each vertical line only passes through one time. So I could also say yes, the graph passes the vertical line test. All right, number 23, give an example of an equation that would represent a function. Well, what I can do is look up at any of the posters, and any equation that would be on those posters would be one that represents a function. So we could have like y equals 2x minus 6, because that would make a line, and that's a linear function. Um, I could have y equals 2x squared, because that would be quadratic. I could have y equals 5 to the x, because that would be exponential. Um, I could have y equals absolute value of x minus 3 because that would be absolute value. So there's all sorts of different equations that you could have for that one. Okay, and then the last one, number 24, let f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x find f of 2. Now please remember that f of x is only alerting us that this is a function, so we're not actually going to do anything with that part of the problem. f of 2, this is in place of the x, so we're going to go in where we see an x and plug in 2. So I'm going to have 2 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2. And then if you remember order of operations, we do powers first. So we'll do 2 squared, which is 4. So I'll have 2 times 4 plus 3 times 2. The next thing that comes is multiplication. So 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 2 is 6. And then we'll add those two. 8 plus 6 is 14.